today's uh, today's uh, topic is uh, happiness. Okay. Uh, so what what we uh, going to discuss in uh, this topic? We will discuss about the introduction, uh, positive agent, epidemiology, transmission, cost factors. Okay. And mechanism of action of toxin. Okay. Then uh, we will discuss about clinical features. Then type of tetanus. Then uh, about uh, we will discuss about diagnosis. How to diagnose the uh, tetanus? Okay. Then uh, we will uh, discuss about differential diagnosis. Okay. What uh, what are the different uh, different uh, cases with uh, which uh, resembles uh, same as the case of uh, tetanus? Okay. Then we will uh, discuss about the treatment treatment of the uh, tet uh, tetanus patient. Then uh, about the prevention. How to prevent uh, tetanus? There are two method: active and passive. Okay. So in introduction, so uh, tetanus is a, a Greek word. Okay, tetanus is a Greek word which means stretch. So uh, actually, uh, in uh, tetanus, a uh, patient, the patient uh, looks uh, like that uh, he is stretching. Okay, uh, all the muscles uh, start stretching and uh, start showing the spasm. Okay, and rigidity. And that's why, that's why the uh, word is uh, given to tetanus. Okay, which is a Greek word and which means stretch. Okay, it's the only vaccine preventable disease that is infectious but not contagious. Okay, tetanus is an infectious disease but it is not contagious as other diseases like COVID. Okay, so positive agent. What causes a uh, tetanus? Okay, so the positive agent is Clostridium tetani, which is a gram positive bacilli. Okay. Tetanus uh, clostridium tetanus is a gram positive bacilli and it's anaerobic and it's motile. Okay, it's motile. Motile, uh, it's motile, so it show, uh, shows swarming growth in culture. Okay, it's oval, colorless, terminus host. It appears like tennis racket or domestic shape in microscopy. Okay, it's found worldwide in soil, in an animate environment, in animal fecal matter, and occasionally human feces. Okay. So it's a diagram. It's a diagram of prostate tetanus. It looks like a uh, uh, racket, okay, or domestic. Uh, you can say it's uh, a pair like a domestic under microscope, okay. It's the uh, staining of uh, prostate tetanus, okay. You can see uh, round terminal spores, okay, it appearing like domestic or tennis racket. These are uh, these are spores. Okay? These are spores. Now uh, come on. Uh, in India, in India, tetanus is an uh, endemic uh, infection. Okay, it's an endemic infection. And what causes uh, it to, uh, to be endemic in India? So there are various factors which are uh, causing uh, it to, as an endemic infection in India. These factors are uh, improper hand washing. There is no uh, proper hand washing in uh, India. Improper delivery practice, traditional birth customs, and interest in immunization. Okay, so people don't go for uh, immunization generally after any injury. That's why uh, it's uh, endemic in India. It's a transmission. It is uh, non-contagious. Okay, tetanus uh, is a non-transmitter from person to person. It's non-contagious. Actually, how how a patient get uh, infection of uh, uh, that uh, clostridium tetani? So uh, during the uh, at the time of injury or at any uh, injury, uh, the uh, spores spores of clostridium tetani. Uh, Got inoculated there. Okay. Then after when uh, there is anaerobic condition uh, uh, arises, they spore, uh, these spores get spotted to germinated. Okay. And that uh, infection get uh, spread to other part of the body through lymphatic system or blood uh, system, blood circulation system. So host factors also uh, play important role uh, in its infection. Generally, uh, generally. Uh, uh, Individual with the age of 5 to 40 years generally get infected with this. Uh, males are more uh, more prone to. Are more prone to uh, males are more prone to uh, this infection. And occupation in you know, agriculture workers are more prone to uh, get uh, infected uh, by this uh, bacilli. Okay, in urban area there is less uh, less cases of tetanus. Uh, Root of entry, apparently a damage injury uh, through injuries, through animal bites, open fractures, burns, abscess, 
generally they will get uh, infected or uh, infected by the spores which are uh, present in fecal matter or organic matter or soil okay so uh, this is uh, a diagrammatic representation of uh, infection uh, that how uh, clostridium cutaneae cause infection so clostridium cutaneae first of all is a uh, cutaneous spots actually uh, two type of uh, toxins are released by the clostridium cutaneae they uh, these are uh, cutaneo uh, cutanospasmin and cutanolysin they are two type of uh, uh, toxins okay so cutanolysin is generally don't play a important role in clinical feature uh, of a patient cutanospasmin is an important toxin due to which all the symptoms will come in a patient so how a cutanospasmin work it affects inhibitor transmitter they block inhibitor transmitter uh, at the uh, at the nerve uh, nerve uh, nerve synapses okay okay and excited transmitter get uh, they get excited so muscle get spasm okay muscle get excited and sympathetic system with uh, increases and uh, there will be a rigidity in the muscle and more uh, muscle spasm will be there in a in the in the uh, patient okay continuous stimulation by excited transmitter and inhibitory transmitter will is blocked okay uh, if inhibitory transmitters are blocked then of course uh, excited to transmitter will increase the muscle spasm so it's a diagrammatic representation and this is a, a patient suffering from a tetanus so there is a tried a tried uh, present in the patient with a suffering from tetanus that's a rigidity spasm and autonomic dysfunction autonomic dysfunction generally uh, we can see in a uh, severe cases of uh, tetanus okay in three uh, there are uh, categories uh, on the basis of severity of tetanus okay and in severe cases we can uh, we will also see autonomic dysfunction okay so early symptoms will be neck stiffness sore throat these are the uh, early symptoms and poor mouth opening patient with generalized tetanus patient with tetanus so maximum cases are the are the generalized tetanus okay there are variety of tetanus uh, uh, tetanus is also uh, are, are of different types and most commonly generalized tetanus present with tetanus also called as lock jaw spasm which is really continue for 3 to 4 weeks so this uh, this is a case with uh, tetanus okay also called as lock jaw so what is uh, uh, the symptom is rises uh, sardonicus so what is rises sardonicus it's a sustained uh, contraction of facial musculature produce a sneery green expression known as rises sardonicus okay other symptoms are tetanus opisthotonus okay in opisthotonus patient become curve due to muscle contraction they appear as a curvature so it's a uh, rises sardonicus you can see the of uh, see the facial expression this is opisthotonus portion okay it's a patient uh, suffering from tetanus patient will appear like this other symptoms include uh, drooling mental and impaired mental uh, retardation hand or foot spasm irritability and controlled urination because autonomic dysfunction is also appear in severe cases so this is a sequence of uh, sequence uh, of tetanus okay patient suffering from tetanus uh, they will show symptoms like in this sequence first of all uh, lock jaw will appear or tetanus then after that uh, stiff neck and uh, difficulty in swallowing after that after that uh, difficulty in swallowing then muscle rigidity then at the last in last spasm will be there so it's a grading a grading system for the uh, patient uh, suffering from tetanus okay they are uh, it is a uh, divided into grade 1 uh, grade 2 grade 3 which is divided into a and b grade 1 is mild second is moderate third a is severe and third b is very severe okay in a uh, grade 1 uh, its uh, symptom will be mild to moderate uh, tetanus and general spasticity in little or no dysphagia no respiratory there will be no respiratory symptom in mild uh, cases in moderate cases there is a slight involvement of uh, respiratory system and third a cases uh, third a category severe category there will be a severe tetanus respiratory symptoms will involve severe prolonged spasm and grade third autonomic dysfunction will also add on in grade third b very severe cases okay 
other classification also there uh, also called as applied classification of singularity which is similar uh, uh, what i uh, told in uh, previous uh, slide but uh, difference is uh, just there uh, this uh, is uh, it is uh, divided into grade 1 2 and 3 and 4 there it is a uh, third uh, third is divided into a and b also okay so it's mild moderate severe and very severe types of thickness they are very uh, types of thickness are there uh, generalized local uh, cephalic traumatic autogenic idiopathic okay uh, peripheral and due uh, thickness in your naturum okay Neonatal uh, thickness it occur because of improper uh, delivery uh, improper delivery method improper sanitization improper sterilization of equipments okay that's uh, improper uh, hand washing uh, that uh, these all are causes a uh, uh, neonatal thickness and improper vaccination of pregnant mother okay there should be a uh, thickness vaccination in pregnant woman uh, after uh, after uh, she conceives and second dose after uh, one month of the previous dose okay this uh, case of uh, thickness uh, neonatal okay a baby uh, suffering from thickness Cephalic thickness. Uh, cephalic thickness occurs, uh, occurs due to head injury or injury in the ear. Okay, it's a uh, mortality is very high in this cephalic thickness. It's a uh, it's a patient uh, suffering from cephalic thickness. You can see a uh, tosis on one side and uh, fascia paralysis on one side. Diagnosis. Uh, diagnosis. Actually, there is no uh, no proper method for diagnosis of thickness. Uh, uh, generally, uh, we uh, diagnose it uh, on the basis of clinical symptoms, patient showing. Okay, by seeing the uh, symptoms, we can uh, diagnose thickness patient. And in treatment, treatment of thickness, we will uh, use a uh, penicillin. Uh, antibiotics are used, and symptomatic treatment uh, are done, uh, like uh, uh, anti uh, spasmodic drugs. Okay, muscle relaxant, uh, antibiotic like penicillin uh, and metronidazole, which are allergic to pen penicillin, uh, they, uh, they, uh, we use uh, metronidazole, okay, and clindamycin, we can also use erythromycin, okay. Yeah, finally, uh, there uh, we have to do a trachostomy also in severe cases of thickness because, uh, because of muscle spasms, they are unable to, uh, because of respiratory involvement, we have to do urgent and immediate and emer in emergency trachostomy, okay. So that's the uh, 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 topic for uh, thickness. Okay. There are the differential diagnosis of thickness like encephalitis, meningitis, hysteria. Okay. Seizure disorder. Drug induced dystonic reaction in case of phenothiazine uh, poisoning. Okay. So okay. Thank you.